All right, sorry about that. Looks like everything's better now. What's crazy is like I've been basically not doing anything in this game for like 30 seconds or so to figure out technical issues and I'm still doing fine. So we've killed 20 mobsters today as our daily goal, I guess. This is kind of boring. That guy's name is Angry, I guess. Right, so I use the power up that looked like the skull and that spawned those guys and they uh, apparently killed everyone on screen. to it. I don't know how I just got so much health back, but all right. Like everything slowed down like I was about to die and then I healed to half health. All right, so game over. Leveled up to three, I guess, if that, uh, does anything for anyone. Looks like I got a, a absolute like load of cash. So that's cool. I don't know, these these shooting gallery games don't do a whole lot for me, honestly. Um, let's check out something else. Uh, what else did I download? What's this naval tactics game? Naval tactics captain of the something or other. Uh, no push notifications, please. So I need to delay this camera a little bit. All right, so I guess we'll start with how to play. Oh God, not all this text. I'm not gonna read all this. All right, we'll read a little bit of it. Um, each player is dealt a number of cards. So you can only take some of them to a mission. Each shift costs a number of configuration points. Well, here, I'll see if we can figure it out. Uh, by practicing versus AI. Well, we defeat the enemy patrol. All right, cool. Uh, so we need to defeat the American patrol, destroy all enemy ships, have the most victory points at round 40. All right, well, I guess no time better than the present to uh, get the show on the road here. Um, discard three cards, huh? 
All right, so let's see what our cards do. Hull points cannot be reduced below one on this turn. Plus two movement points, two X damage to sales, 100% accuracy. All right, let's get rid of the Fog of War one. That doesn't seem like much fun. And Iron Will, sure. Oh, we need to discard, eh. We'll keep our damage dealing cards, see what that does. All right, so defeat the enemy patrol, destroy all enemy ships, or have the most victory points by round 40. Tap or drag ships from the left, add them to your fleet. Um, oops. I don't know. I guess those three ships seem good. Uh, mission objectives, still, still the same. Um, can I move these? All right. I feel like I need to load my cannons. How do I do that? Let's reload all. Um, I don't know where we're supposed to be going here. I guess on the other side of the island. Okay, cool. Uh, how do we advance the turn? Oh, okay. The checkbox is... I think tutorial design goes a long way in uh, these kind of games. Um, I don't know, I think it's silly to expect your um, player base to basically read like a help file. Why can't I go that way? I guess this is the way the wind is blowing or something. All right, fine, we'll, we'll go this way. We lost sight of where the other dudes are. All right, so there's the other ships. Let's see if we can shoot at them. What the hell is this thing doing over here? <laughs> Alright, well, I don't know why this ship is, like, doing nothing. I think it's because it's facing the wrong direction in the wind or something like that, maybe. So that is the problem. We're facing in the wrong direction. How do I... How do I rotate this dude? Uh, 
Uh, hmm. Well, I guess we're gonna run aground. This guy can just attack. Alright, cool, the wind is changing. Maybe I can get this dude somewhere that's worthwhile. What the hell, like how... How do I rotate this ship? It's like sailing into the wind. Like I don't care if it takes three I guess because it's facing this way, I only have two movement points, and I need three in order to rotate it. So this ship is basically dead in the water, it seems like. Uh, can I load my cannons? This stupid ship is on the wrong side of me. I think, anyway. Sure. Well, maybe we'll just let them sink us. This is very exciting. All right, so all my ships are sunk. This one is stuck on the side of an island, my giant battleship. Uh, what can I do? Anything? I guess I just need to wait for the wind to change. I don't have any useful cards. I guess the double movement speed card would have been good to keep, but... I don't know. Well, let's play something else. This is boring. Um, let's see what's hot on the Touch Arcade app right now. Let's check this game out. 15 buckaroos. Oh, I think this is huge too. I don't need to put my password in. Can we download while this is cooking? Oh, Thomas was alone, got out editor's choice. That's cool. Indie game sensation. <laughs> BAFTA winning million selling game. So this one's going to take forever. Um, OK. 
kind of want to queue up a bunch of stuff to download, but this is also taking forever. Just want to switch over from waiting to uh, actually acknowledging that I'm downloading it. Still spinning. Let's see what else got featured, shall we, while we're in here. Um, so I played, oh, Maleficent Freefall. This is, this is the Frozen game reskinned. How stupid is that? Uh, Badland got updated. What's Axel and Tuna? Family friendly fun. No oh, thanks. Heroes of Camelot. Uh, Rayman Fiesta Run got an update, I guess. Um, I don't know if I need to play through the existing content in order to get the update content, but we'll try it. ACR Drift also got some crazy update too, but I'm not really that interested in that. Uh, Welder is still going with updates, huh? I'll try this Haunted House game too. Mm -hmm. All right. I guess as long as we're spending money, let's buy some Hearthstone cards. Password again. <laughs> Crafting story was really bad. I played it yesterday. If you want to see it, uh, go look at the YouTube video. Basically, like every single one of those um, like randomly guess style of games. Bad. Golden Common. I already have Keeper of the Grove. Mass Dispel. I think I already have two of those. Oh, Doomsayer, cool. I think that's my second one of those. Full play set. I already have those dudes. Opening packs is kind of not exciting anymore. I'm basically fishing for legendaries, although a Golden Ravenhold Assassin is pretty cool. Right, so back to my collection, get some dust. And bum, bum, bum. Let's see if my stuff's done downloading. All right, well here, we'll check out Rayman Fiesta Run. Not entirely sure if I can access the new content, um, but we'll try. Connect to Facebook, no thanks. Playing. All right, so. 
Come and spot into play, free teensies. How do I get to... I guess he must have had to play through the whole game. All right, well, whatever. The Rayman games are pretty good. If you like auto runners, um, it's definitely one worth checking out. Some of those lums, oh well. Alright, so let's explore the menus to see if we can't um, get to uh, the new content somehow. bag thing. Ugh. Alright, well, I guess we can't get to the new patch area until we beat the game. Maybe they just extended to the end of it. I don't really know what they added. I thought it was a whole new, like, level pack, but maybe not. So, uh, Haunted House will be fast. We'll check this out. iTunes. Of course, it's not the first thing that comes up. Oh, it kind of is. All right, cool. All right, uh, so here's Haunted House. It seem that my camera is very far behind again. All right, let's see how that works out. So I don't really know anything about this game other than it's uh, free to play and made by Atari, which may or may not be a good thing. I guess we'll find out. All right, so don't be scared. Here's how to play. Um, swipe in the direction of the arrows to defeat enemies. Wait a minute. Drag hanging objects up or pull them down to clear the path. Uh, tap diamonds to defeat enemies and trigger springs. Swipe from the target in the direction of the pointy finger to create a bridge. Hold down on the target to keep falling platforms stable. How to pick up items to help your performance. Uh, get rewarded with boosts and tap them to activate temporary powers. Man, these are really far behind. Oh well, whatever. Um, upgrades will give you new abilities. Check them out on the player info screen. Now, run for your life. Wait a minute here. Let me see if I can fix this. This is crazy behind the other one. All right, uh, let's restart here. Oh, that's close enough. I already read this. Purchase life boost to continue, no thanks.
It is kind of weird how um, it's like an endless runner, but entirely swipe controlled. This is kind of stupid. Yeah, it's like eight seconds behind too. Huh. Now it caught up. Cool. God damn it. Hang on. Look at these figured out yet. sort of stupid. Let's uh, check out um, Thomas was alone. Which as I understand it is a pretty good game. settings do we have so as I understand it, there's voiceover stuff here so um, I won't read because I think that there's um, voice stuff uh, my progress on wayward souls was non-existent
wanted to play with you. It was pushing him. Gently. This is pretty cool so far. Oh, maybe I should move a little faster. So does this have uh, voiceovers for little captions that comes up? Oh god, please don't start with the super ignorant pricing stuff. Like, <laughs> this is actually like a full video game that has won a ridiculous amount of awards and everything like that. Like, this is the exact kind of stuff that people are like clamoring for on iOS. With the uh, caveat that it better be 99 cents, I guess. Turn the sound of the game up. There. That should be better. Thomas had a new theory. The world was training him. He could feel himself getting smarter. There was the mental list to consider. Over the minutes and seconds since his spontaneous generation, he'd become a pretty skilled jumper. He was evolving. He just wished he had someone to share it with. This thing's like tossing me around all crazy. think he was. <laughs> Introducing the second character is pretty good. Chris had been doing fine. He wasn't the highest jumper, but he'd held his own. He'd even been graceful at times. Well, not actually. Not technically graceful. It's probably, probably the wrong word, but you know, fine. It was that skinny little runt leaping about like he owned the place. Thank 
like it. A glowy white thing. Only Chris could get to it. This is pretty cool. It's got like a weird um, what would it do? Lost what Vikings vibe almost. Like this switch open up to him. Great, great. Another chance for Thomas to jump slightly higher than Chris. How fortunate. Seriously. This made the whole switch pressing thing entirely worthwhile. was pretty scared. Well, Red seemed fine, happy to be on his merry little adventure. Chris couldn't shake the feeling that things had taken a significant turn for the worse since Thomas had joined him. Sure, he'd been able to piggyback his way to ever so slightly higher platforms, but where had that got him? Well, to ever so slightly higher platforms, which was sort of his point. He seemed so very happy at their situation. Friends together, a brave fellowship of quadrilaterals on a quest for greatness. That would be fine. But it was all the obvious observation that Thomas was doing which grated. Every time they saw something vaguely new, Chris would hear a satisfied little hmm from the vaulting idiot. He hoped the next portal would split them up. If only for a few levels. Was his chance a moment 
to shine. This was game day. show off his exceptional skills. As it was, he was trapped on the wrong side of these little dot things. Where did they come from, anyway? open space and okay. it smelled of awesome time to flex those muscles to put his training to use time to show those little dots how it was done John decided to press the switch to let the little dots catch up with him John cared for his new allies you could tell from the sympathetic expression he practiced in the mirror all these years. Oh, of course, this fat little square can't be that. happy to keep helping. He felt it was important to his image that he was seen to help the little guys. Oh, I guess I can't move too far. I wonder... Oh, oh I guess I can slide both guys under. Yeah. Thank you. 
So how do I get this fat little orange turd up over here? It's a real pain in the ass, by the way. Uh, seems good. I don't know. Like I said before, I don't have anything bad to say about it at all. so much either. The red one, Thomas, had a charming way of applauding every time John jumps. immediately likable, but his unremitting cynicism and tutting amused John. This would require coordination, balance, and timing. 
John was sure the dots would be lost, but he was happy to guide them to triumph. what the dots were for. They were there to extend John's reach, to make his performance even more impressive. John liked the thought. He decided to keep them. Cool. Uh, no, I didn't play this yesterday. It came out really late in the day. It was a surprise release, so it wasn't any New Zealand stuff. So, this was how Claire would die. She knew it would happen eventually. She was rubbish at jumping, and she moved slowly. She felt a little like her continued existence was breaking some kind of natural order. The crumbling pillar was a dramatic death, she supposed. Hey! What? Claire couldn't shake the feeling oh, that so she this was one not can float in water. In fact, right, cool. dead. It was at that moment that Claire Is really. Is that for real? Play Sheeple Rama instead? That game was she trash. She had superpowers! Uh, She'd need a cape. There was no getting around that. You couldn't be a superhero without a cape. Claire didn't want confusion. If you saw a cape, that made matters clear. You knew what you were dealing with. Claire was all about communication. And, you know, floating in water, which was her superpower. Probably ride on the green one, huh? Might make this easier than making a million jumps. friends for I am Claire and it is kind of crazy how much character these like squares have Claire right needed to come up with a superhero name as soon as possible Claire was rubbish just in time, which was, of course, the perfect moment for superheroes to arrive. <laughs> Something tells me the grumpy orange block is really not going to like the, uh, the blue block. Water began to rise. Claire vowed to save this little rectangle in as many restarts as it took. Claire wondered if Thomas 
Ross would make a good sidekick. Or was she more the Lone Avenger type? She'd like that. The sole hero in a world of rectangles and conveniently placed pools of toxic water. were a bit of a fixture here. Claire wondered why the world made it so difficult. Play one more level of this and I'll go to that RPG that we downloaded. Claire probably needed a nemesis. A villain who would show their true colours at the worst possible moment, hurting all she held dear. Chris was the most obvious choice. He seemed stroppy enough. And his jump was so pathetic that it conveniently avoided Claire's insecurities. Yes. Chris. Diabolical Chris. The fiendish Christopher. tricky. Right across on here. Where 
Chris gone? Was he? <laughs> Orange guy's gone. Down All right. Uh, here, let's uh, check out. That game's really good. You should pick that up. Um, let's see. What is this? Agarest War. Record of Agarest War, I guess. Premium price of fourteen ninety nine. Oh no, it's one of these games that, well here, we'll, I guess we'll see how playable it is. So as you can see, it's not sending any video out to my iPad. It's sending it all through HDMI for the capture stuff. Oh, this is totally broken with my capture crowd. Okay, let's skip this if we can. Alright, so I guess only videos are broken? Maybe? It's like the aspect ratio of this game is insane. Well. I don't know. I guess we'll just play this for a little bit just so you guys can get an idea what's going on. Assuming it works. Oh no. These games are almost impossible for me to play when they're like this. This is so messed up with my capture stuff. Oh, that's disappointing. Maybe we can skip through to at least get an idea of what stuff's going to be like. Maybe there's a way to turn this off. Oh, cool. Fixed it. Great. Perfect. So this guy does the dot dot dot. Just start. What was that? God, this has like the slowest text on the planet. Something amiss, Leonhard. The troops are ready. They await your orders. Eh, oh. Concerned, uh, you can pale of light and sickly, the men are concerned. Uh, Roman Reigns, uh, long story short, a lot of times developers like don't take into account like the crazy kind of setup I have to make Twitch work. Um, so it's not, it's kind of normal for games to have like weird buggy video when you have video out. Right, so, can we basically assume this is like RPG? RPG the story? Let's just get to the game. Skip. It's a lot of text.
So we want to move. What about the move phase? Yeah, sure. Move characters during the move phase. So that's the order at the top of the screen. Characters with higher agility will take their turn sooner. So this seems pretty Final Fantasy Tactics standard right now. There's basic too. Alright, so let's move. Can I just tap? Why can't you tap? That seems janky that you can't just tap where you want these dudes to move. phase? Yeah, sure. Action phase begins after the move speed, so we already learned about the agility stuff. Uh, so AP comes into play as well. Learn about skills too. Alright, so... Hopefully we can just attack straight across here. Hang on, why can we use none of these? We have 14 AP, right? sprayed out, I don't understand. Um, we need to... Alright, yeah, okay, cool. So you select the bad guy. Double edge... Oh, they're nuts. You hit start to attack. That's weird. Um, I don't know about standing by. Okay. Stand by to skip the character's turn and proceed to the next one. Unless all enemies or party members are defeated, the turn will end. And we'll proceed to a new phase. Alright, so AP carries over, so I guess that's where the uh, energy comes in. Off that. Alright, so the max AP that you can carry over the next turn is the max AP of a character times two. Don't carry anything over that exceeds that limit. Like, is, is it for real that there's not like a touch control stuff? Alright, let's try touch dial one. see why that was the default because the touch is inaccurate it seems like I 
really don't understand like what I'm doing wrong here in regards to selecting these dudes or whatever else. Alright, so which is the guy? This guy's in front. So this guy's up next. It's the B for his skills. Maybe D is here? Final Fantasy Tactics, like, it's it's obvious what you're supposed to do. I mean, like, we read through all the tutorials. Like, I don't understand what I'm doing wrong. Like, so this is the guy that I ha I guess I just need to make him stand by. Okay, cool. That was hard. You have to really figure out what button selects what. So it's like. Holy shit. Hmm. Alright, so B brings up the menu. And there we have the ability to B makes the menu go away, A makes the menu go away. Alright, so there's his abilities. Okay, cool. And start to attack. <laughs> All right, we're almost through the first round of combat. I was doing to... Okay, here we go. So we kill those guys? Not yet. I don't know. Man. So I don't understand why Okay, here we go. Cool, I got to work again. Uh, this will be the blast attack, sure, and start to do it. <laughs> Dude, they're getting beat up. Psychic. 
Well, I guess my guys are attacking automatically now. Got grass. I'm not sure what's happening now. They definitely attacked like when I went through all that. Like I don't understand why I'm getting all these auto attacks now. So I accidentally turn on like auto battle or something like that, which seems weird. So good job we cleared the level i guess hmm. uh yeah let's save the game sure for this game today unfortunately all right so we played everything that i wanted to play let's see what else is on the app store that's cool played all that played all that what's whack-a-mole that seems pretty stupid what's this Word games on stream are typically a uh, recipe for disaster. Uh, Here's an order and chaos got updated again. Discover a unique game mode, new 5v5 map. What's Globlin's Glob all about? Oh, we played this before already. Uh, Zombie Road Trip was really good. Um, let's see what's on the free charts. This 100 balls game is like ripping it up. Let's try this out. Let me put my password in real quick. All right, so a top free game, 100 balls. Let's see what this is all about. Uh, no push notifications. How do you play this? Oh, I see. Why is this number one? Oh, I missed so many balls there. I mean, it is pretty satisfying when you land like a, a perfect drop. So I got 115 balls, that's over the name of the game. Oh uh, no, I'm, I'm not gonna ask for a refund. Game was fine. It's not my cup of tea. It's not their problem. It's fine. Oh, 
shit. So I see why this is popular. I mean, this, this seems all right, I guess. What other, what else can we do in this? I guess I don't understand why this would be sticky. Like this is, at least to me, seems like the game that I would play once and be like, oh, that's cool. Just kind of forget about it. Oh, so I guess there's strategy in making sure there's always balls available for your other like buckets. Shit, like I'm gonna lose these two buckets already. So we got a blue bucket now. I guess that's good. We're doing better or worse than last time around. I think I'm losing way more balls. Shit. Crap, that was terrible, and that was terrible too. I got a purple one, whatever that does for me. Balls for the purple one. All right, cool. Go, now I'm losing my purple one. All right, well, seems better. I, I don't know, I can see why this is popular. I guess, I'll just lose all my balls, who cares, start over. I guess what's strange is that like the the top free games recently have been um, so fast and you know like like the the black piano tiles one it's like you're you're done inside of like thirty seconds and this is like the game doesn't even really oh shit I should just restart this like the game doesn't even really start until uh, you're like a couple minutes in it seems like. Feels like it would be like a game on the Price is Right or something like that.
Oh shit. This game is pretty good. I this is the first. Oh, I'm doing terrible now, but this is the first game that's been on the top free charts for a while. That I've been like, hey, I can actually kind of get behind this. Like, this is pretty decent. All right. Well, this game's like a wash at this point. I feel like. So I can recycle these balls for a while. on here. Oh no, I sh crap. Well, it's still better than I've done before, so I guess we'll see how long we can keep these purple ones rolling. Recycle these seven balls forever, it feels like. Oh no. <laughs> Spoke too soon. Oh shit, down to one. The last purple ball remains. Six forty-three, pretty good. Uh, so here, let's go through what we played today. Um, so circa six started out um, with that. It was it was all right. I don't know. It's a didn't really blow my mind, but at the same time, it's um, one of those kind of games that um, would be good to recommend to people that always seem to be emailing us, being like, "Hey, what's uh, you know, what's a." game that I can play with like in portrait mode with one hand um glorious maximus or whatever uh, fighting games didn't seem to make too much sense um naval tactics I don't know like it's probably really good if you're into tactics style games like I'm not really and it didn't help the game had like no tutorial and um was basically just like here you go play the game read all this text see ya uh overkill mafia um, kind of a shooting gallery game. It's totally free to play, I guess. So, like, if it looked interesting, uh, go nuts. I wish there was more color in it because it made uh, picking out bad guys pretty difficult. Uh, Rayman Fiesta Run got an update, but I guess you need to actually play through the game to get to the new content. So, um, I don't know. I mean, we couldn't get to it because I deleted the game from my iPad. Uh, Thomas Was Alone is really good. You should probably check that out. Uh, Haunted House by Atari. Uh, it's like a, I guess, an adaptation of an old DOS game. Um, I don't know. Uh, Records of Agrest War seemed, um, I don't know, it was like too much of a port for my taste. Like, it's probably a really good game, but the uh, virtual controls didn't make a lot of sense. The menus didn't make a whole lot of sense, and um, all that stuff. 100 balls we grabbed off the top of the free charts, which um, I don't know, I was actually kind of really surprised by uh, you know, how much how much fun that is, I guess, um, compared to, I guess, what's been on the free charts recently. Uh, so if, I guess if you missed any of these games, I'll have the uh, video up on YouTube uh, shortly. I'm actually not going to be around next week. Uh, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, I'll be visiting King.com in Barcelona. So uh, next stream is going to be a week from now on Thursday. 
I'm gonna try to see if I can get someone to do the Wednesday stream because we get featuring on Twitch. I don't wanna I don't wanna lose that. Um, so otherwise, I will see you guys next week, and um, I guess have a good weekend. <laughs>